I am using my Wavelink USB docking station, which is also a duplicator. And I was unable to do the 14 terabyte to 14 terabyte with nine terabytes of data on my source drive that I want onto here, which are pictures and videos. And since I was unable to use the disc jockey, uh, this wasn't coming up on the disc jockey, or I should say that it was uh, only transferring at 6%, which would have taken weeks to do. We are actually, I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna hoping that this will work, and I've used this in the past, this duplicator. So I got it set up, that's my target drive, and that's actually my source drive. When you're using this device, there it is, source drive. When you're using this device, be very careful. I always turn it on and off before removing. If you go back here, um, you'll see the actual on and off switch. Let me, there it is, on and off. So make sure you turn it off. I, I turn it off. I, I, you know, the instructions are very difficult to understand. I'm gonna go and be safe. I'm gonna turn them on and off before I remove them. I don't believe that it is hot swappable, but um, that's what I would do. So and let's do it. It's finicky, so <laughs> hopefully I get it correct. I haven't used this duplicator since I have the disc jockey and I usually use that, but this is my backup. So as soon as the source and destination drive comes up, and again, what I did was I removed the USB because connected to my computer, it actually did not work. I couldn't do anything with the buttons. So I just disconnected it, it's separate. You may not have that issue, but I definitely did. So it's separate, and now I have the source and destination. That's the target drive, that's where I want it to, to from this, and this is the source drive. From the source drive, you can see it's worded right there. Let me see. Um, Source drive on that. Yep, there it is. It says source drive. And it's a little tricky. It's hard. Let's try it again. Hold it till it starts blinking. Source destination drives on. Hold it. There it goes. Let go of it right away. Press it again and it should go right to 25. You saw that? So let me just show it to you again, uh, slow motion. So as you saw it in slow motion without any sound, you press it and you hold it until it starts blinking. Let go of it right away. I thought it was about 30 seconds, but it's only whenever it starts blinking, let it go, press it again, let go of it, and press it once again and let go of it, and it'll start charging, okay? Or it'll start, I'm sorry, not charging. It'll start duplicating. So let me see how well the 14 terabyte to total 14 terabyte duplicates. Again, I had to remove it from the computer to get it to work. And I also have to see how long it's gonna take. And it is uh, 10.30 p.m. And I'll let you know what time it is at 50, 75, and 100. Or I'll try, try to remember, hopefully I'll be awake. It's 10.30 a.m. the next day. I fell asleep. I just woke up and it's blinking at 75%. So it's been 12 hours. So hopefully I'll catch it when it finishes and we'll get a ballpark figure on how long it takes. Or how long it took to duplicate two 14 terabyte drives with this thing. It just finished the 75%. I caught it right when I came to check on it. It just switched. And it is, uh, what is it? 16 and a half hours later. It is 3 p.m. 3 p.m. when it finished the 
percent. So I'm gonna rough it to each chunk where it be 25%, 50%, 75%. It seems like it's taking five and a half hours per percentage for moving, or I'm sorry, copying nine terabytes of data. Five and a half hours times four, or five and a half hour each quarter. So that's gonna give you a total of about 22 hours. So if I started this at 10.30 p.m. yesterday, it should be done at 22 hours at 8.30 p.m. By 8.30 p.m. it should be 100%. So it finished, I thought it was gonna finish in 22 hours. It actually finished in exactly 24 hours or 24 hours and five minutes maybe. So it took 24 hours to duplicate. Now, this is not OS, this is just data. Pictures and videos that I have from one 14 terabyte to another 14 terabyte. A total of nine terabytes of data. It took one day to do it. So it was pretty fast. It's a lot faster than copy and paste. That would have taken me a few days. So for the wavelength, that's how you use it. And that was uh, my job that I did and how I used it and how it helped me. Just before I end the video, I just wanna let you know that both drives came up. Both of them came up. And I did a uh, good sync analyze I analyzed the data to make sure everything was the same. It's exactly the same. Everything's the same. It did a great job in duplicating the drives, this 14 terabyte drives. Thank you. Bye.